I should have put business in the title or something first. But <laughs> hey, uh, I'm here at GDC again. You can see it kind of back there. I'm here with Rajiv Rao. Hello. Uh, we were just talking about um, business and film and stuff, which is cool. It's a different industry here at the Game Con, but it's visual. So, uh, yeah, well, how about we just lead with what's your interest in film, basically? Like, what uh, departments, if, yeah. if you will, do you work with? Yeah, so I'm an amateur filmmaker. I do a lot of stuff, you know, just my own projects, documentaries, short films, advertisements, that sort of thing. And I do a lot of stuff... Uh, I guess across editing, writing, directing, I kind of wear all hats, just being a small, you know, more indie filmmaker. Yeah. Right on, right on. So yeah. that's why we clicked. And uh, actually, you mentioned business first of all. Yeah, um, yeah. There's a that's a big field too. Where's yeah. your specialty <laughs> lie in that? Yeah. So I work on uh, business operations, strategy stuff at uh, Unity Technologies, the game engine. So that's why I'm out here. Um, so I have learned a lot about. You know, that's different aspects of business strategy in the game space, um, you know, spaces beyond the game space, but then also, given my interest in film, uh, trying to marry the two interests together. Yeah, right on. So, that's a really important field, and it's cool to be able to chat with someone a little more colloquially, down to earth. Uh, I see we got a couple of viewers, Vista, saying hi. Uh, feel free to ask a question if you got any uh, while we're here chatting. So, have you, do you own your own companies or anything like that? Have you, uh... At the moment, I'm 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 I am trying to start incorporating a film production company. I've worked with some friends who've done, who have their own stuff, uh, but at the moment, yeah, I didn't I didn't uh, I only needed to do it once I had finished a movie, and I had right. to like okay, have, now I have to have a business entity, right, right. So, right. Um, how about with um, business management and prospective stuff? Like, what do you see as the future here with integrating film and video games in a in totally. a sort of independent? Yeah. Solo way. How is that yeah. looking for you? Absolutely. Well, it's it's really interesting um, seeing a lot of the tech around or a lot of the talk around real time game engines uh, being used in film. It's really interesting the ways that you can cut costs in productions, right? Because a lot of the film industry is moving more towards a way towards trends of um, you know larger blockbusters or smaller indie movies that are maybe getting distributed on like Netflix or Amazon. And so what you get with real-time game engines is you get this really sophisticated uh, CG technology, potentially at, you know, because like when I think about, you know, Unity, our engine is, a personal edition is free, right? And so you have a lot of real-time game tech. We have a lot of tools in there for like uh, automating camera movements and doing post-production and stuff like that. That's free if you're, you know, a, a hobbyist. So you can potentially get access to really powerful tools. I mean, the same is true for, for other game engines out there too. But like, you know, you have, access to all these really powerful tools that allow you to integrate CG VFX and like really interesting 3D animations into a project for really cheap uh, and that's really a powerful thing for indie filmmakers so you don't you, you can start to get higher production values and integrate that more into your production process yeah. um, for a lot cheaper yeah which is I mean, we're cool. seeing a lot of new technology uh, such as VR and how that's integrated into yeah. filmmaking like yeah. um, it's pretty exciting to think about uh, I think one of the coolest things that's been shown off for a couple years now is the ability to see what you're acting in with the CGI, where the actor can be actually immersed. Uh, yeah. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, totally. Uh, what, what other potentialities do you see of uh, how technology is going to help with uh, being a filmmaker and what kind of personal yeah. things you've seen there? Yeah. Anything so, comes to mind? Yeah. So, um, you know, I think uh, real time super interesting where you basically just have a 3D rendering and then you can adjust the lighting and colors and, you know, uh, various overlays on a character in real time that's super interesting VR filmmaking is really cool um, I'm really interested in virtual production right so you have like a traditional camera setup but then you have a monitor that perhaps has um, some rough 3d object overlay like what they're doing a lot with the monitors uh, farm where the director exactly. and the camera people can watch from offset and see what it looks exactly. like on camera like with a big monitor TV exactly I think that's super cool because that allows you I mean it's all about with filmmaking you know you, there's obviously a lot of planning that goes into it when it comes to script and shot list and and getting all that stuff coordinated but really when you're on the set you know there's a lot of emotions and moods and different things kind of driving um, what you know what the what the shoot is going to feel like what an actor is going to feel like or an actress is going to feel like and so being able to improv still within reason i think is really compelling so i think like that virtual production aspect i think is going to be interesting but there's a ton of stuff right you mentioned vr um production is super interesting and starting to become more of a thing so yeah have you used any uh like pre-production software in your 
planning? Like pre-visualization? Yeah, anything like that? Or? Not really, because in my filmmaking, I don't, I don't, I don't have enough uh, skills right now to, to integrate any sort right of CG or, yeah. or VFX. But I'd what do you to what something. do you shoot on? What kind of camera have you used? Yeah, so I've used uh, like the like a 5D. I've also have a mirrorless camera that's like oh, from cool. Panasonic that I right use. On. Which one? The G4 or something like that? It's it came out a while ago. I think it's yeah. the DMC F. Z1000. You got that? You get that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love these it's good. It came out. It came out like three, four years ago. It's really good. I mean, it, it's for a camera dummy like me. It's really easy to use things and switch yeah. it up. So. Well, what's your take on the accessibility of all these tools now where like anybody can pick up a camera? Do you see positives or negatives in that? I mean, I only see positives. I mean, I think like we're right now shooting on the front camera of <laughs> this iPhone. It looks pretty good. I, I guess I don't, I don't take a lot of selfies. So I don't see this, but like I don't know. I think I think the fact that everyone has like really compelling, you know, tool, you know, this iPhone or smartphone in their pocket that they can make awesome stuff and post it anywhere. I think that's only good. You know, more ideas out there in the ecosystem, more voices to get inspiration from. So, yeah. Perfect. Awesome. Right on. Well, we're gonna check out. We got a lot of things to do here at GDC. I'll try and get the camera on the stage floor <laughs> sooner than later. Say goodbye to Rajiv. Bye. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> Peace. Got a lot.